टूडे वी विल डिस्कस सेपर एंड प्रिंसिपल पार्ट्स ऑफ सेपर सेपर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड सेपिंग मशीन इट इज़ ए रेसोप्रोकेटिंग टाइप ऑफ मशीन टूल इन विच द रैम मूव्स द कटिंग टूल बैकवर्ड एंड फॉरवर्ड इन अ स्ट्रेट लाइन टू जनरेट द फ्लैट सरफेस द फ्लैट सरफेस में भी होरिजोंटल इनक्लाइंट और वर्टिकल so principal parts of saper now we will discuss first one is base it is a heavy and robust cast iron body which acts as a support for all other parts of the machine which are mounted over it next part is column or body it is a box type iron body mounted upon the base it acts as a housing for the operating mechanism of the machine electrical cross rail and ram on the top is having two guide ways on which ram reciprocates and next part of saper is cross rail it is a heavy cast iron construction attached to the column or body at its front on the vertical guide ways it carries two mechanism one for elevating the table and other for cross travel of the table next part is table it is made of cast iron and used for holding the work piece t slots are provided on its top and sides for securing the work on it it slides along the cross rail to provide feed to the work as we can see next part is the ram it reciprocates on the guide ways provided above the column or body it carries tool head and mechanism for adjusting the stroke length so it will reciprocate forwards and backward as we can see and the next part is tool head it is attached to the front portion of the ram as we can see these are the graduations and clapper box this is tool slide it is tool post and this is tool so it is used to hold the tool rigidly it also provides a vertical and angular movement to the tool for cutting as we can see this a represents the cutting and return motion this is forward and backward and b that indicate the feed motion and the c that shows the depth of cut and the last parameter is that is the motion for accommodating the job and these are the motor and drive compartment for the working of the saper so today we have discussed about uh, saper and main principal parts of the saper in last i want to discuss some specification of a saper the saper is generally specified as on the basis of maximum length of stroke maximum horizontal travel of table maximum vertical travel of table size of the table that means length width and depth of the table maximum vertical travel of tool slide power of dry motor in horse power and maximum number of strokes per minute and type of quick return mechanism floor space requ required and weight so these are the specifications on which saper is specified 
to get more videos on mechanical engineering topics subscribe n universe double two on youtube you may also like its facebook page www.facebook.com n universe double two share this video among your friends and students and you can also share it on social media facebook twitter google plus linkedin and you can ask your queries by commenting give your suggestions if required thank you have a nice day